There are a lot of factors to consider when planning a new effluent pond and selecting a site. Department of Primary Industries researcher Graeme Ward explains some of the considerations for a new pond. When you're looking at building a pond, it's important to obtain good advice from an experienced consultant who's then able to size the pond to suit the number of cows that you're milking, the amount of water that's being used and other factors. And another important consideration is to allow expansion for the case that you might milk more cows in future. Once you have decided on the type and size of the pond required, it's time to look at pond site selection. Let's break the process into a series of steps. You might think about them in a different order. That's fine, as long as you've considered and ticked off each one. It is preferable to convey effluent to the pond by gravity, as it's cheaper and more reliable than pumps. Remember that you want to be able to pick up discharges from all collection points around the dairy. Consider how you will power any pump needed in reusing effluent from the pond or recycling for flood wash. If you intend to use an electric pump, proximity to power, preferably three phase, is an important consideration. But never site a pond under an overhead power line. Apart from during construction, machinery will need ongoing access to desludge the pond. Look out for buried cables or pipework and other farm infrastructure which may be impacted. Check service plans and use dial before you dig. Allow plenty of room for access to the pond by providing wide embankments, access ramps to raised embankments, and space to manoeuvre machinery inside pond fences. Topography is crucial. Ponds should be sited on flatter areas, but in some regions these can be hard to find and you may have to use a sloping site. If so, rigorous construction practices and contingency plans must be in place to prevent pond overflows. Avoid siting ponds on floodplains and low-lying areas unless you have no other option. You will need to seek advice from your catchment management authority if you are located on a floodplain. The groundwater table needs to be at least a metre below the bottom of any pond. Keep well clear of any existing surface water bodies. Not only will this reduce the risk of contaminating clean water, it will also reduce restrictions on you during construction and maintenance activities. Once you've selected a site, you will need to do a site investigation. This is to determine if a pond can be built that will remain structurally sound and be able to meet minimum permeability requirements. The usual requirement is that you demonstrate the soil forming the first 300 to 600 millimetres of contact with the effluent is able to achieve a permeability of less than 10 to the minus 9 metres per second. Check dairy company regulations too, as they can govern how close a pond can be built to the dairy. In general, you should try to avoid any pond or manure storage from being located within 50 metres of the vat room. It's a good idea to seek engineering advice when you start planning the project. This may seem expensive, but can help to avoid costly problems as the project progresses.